Personally, I'm on this conquest of getting 64 hours of productivity out of a single day. While that sounds absurd, bear with me for a minute and you will appreciate my thought. Working hard is the first lever that I use to get as close to a 16 hour day as possible. If I can be twice as efficient as I was last year, it becomes the equivalent of 32 hours. Efficiency is driven through a complete automation, improved methods and processes, and working with new time saver tools. If I can be twice as effective as I was last year, it then gives me an equivalent of 64 hours. Effectiveness is measured through the way I use my time, the decisions I take and the principles I adopt. So to get more effectiveness, one of the books I reread is David Allen's Getting Things Done almost every year. I look for spaces that can provide me with more clues to effectiveness and that provide me an aha. On my journey to implementing GTD, I tried to use different canned apps, but I found Notion the closest to potential to implement this. Last year, I configured GTD into Notion as the ultimate GTD system. This year, I'm revamping it completely for twice that effectiveness. And that's what I'm here to present to you in this video. You can buy the template straight off my website, Effective Today. Notion allows you to incorporate ideas, tasks, projects, reading, and much, much more with a fantastic UI and UX element while maintaining simplicity. The power of GTD lies in its masterful workflow of the core process of time management. To incorporate deeper ideas and suggestions, I bolt on additional features provided by other insightful authors while not losing the essence of GTD. The result of all of this is a GTD system that's quite comprehensive. The subject is so vast and so deep that I can't do it justice in a single video. In this video, I will provide you with an overview of the system by talking of the top 10 things in no particular order. The great thing about all of this is that you may choose to use only a fraction of the functionality for now and keep hacking into new productivity methods as you go along. The GTD workflow consists of five discrete stages. Collect, process, organize, review, course, do. These are discrete as we end up taking on activities independently, but batching similar ones together to create an enormous level of effectiveness. This is critical to our understanding since our workflow is only as good as our weakest link. One of the biggest leaks that people have is in their collection process. This process is most commonly referred to as the second brain by some. Some others refer to this part of the process as the inbox. So all the stuff that you collect is dumped into this part of the workflow. All your incoming emails, all your mails, all your messages, voicemails, strategies, things to do, ideas, things to read. And these typically loiter around several areas like legal plans, post-its, mail inboxes, or you could be getting some of this from aha moments from your thoughts. The collect stage requires a fast capture through any device that's available at hand, starting from a mobile, to a tablet, to a laptop, to a desktop, a browser. Marking it as complete moves the task to the next stage. This step adds a really big improvement to the collection process. This represents all the additional information that you capture as part of the GTD workflow presented in David Allen's book. So the GTD version 2.0 workflow minimizes the need for backtracing a step for that same task. Under process, you add additional information, trash whatever you don't need, identify quick wins, or hand off stuff to people that you can't complete. You can add context, the goal type, the next action inside of the goal status, and map out the kind of energy you think you will need to do that activity, along with priority. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You can recover the record from incomplete or left in inbox if you have forgotten to tick off collected or processed boxes. If you still feel confused, there is an all-encompassing engine room view which you can go back to. Again, records are moved to the next stage as you mark these off as finished. In this stage, you start to take 
the next set of decisions as you organize. These include acting on it, calendarizing it, or scheduling it, project planning it, referencing it, putting it into a bringer because you're waiting for an event to occur for it, or just trashing it. Organizing it enables you to keep lists. These lists are now in the right spaces so that you can action it, review it periodically, exactly from where it was put. You can complete your recurring tasks, complete information regarding projects. You can sequence projects, allot projects and sub-projects, finalize birthdays, meetings, and of course, your non-recurring tasks. In the workflow, I have put in a quick review within the stages to ensure that the items are actually moved to the right space without getting trapped within each stage. As you exit the organized stage, you can mark off the item as complete for this stage. By default, all items exiting the organized stage are available under Review and Do. Review helps you keep track of all your tasks, reading and ideas with over 12 different categories. You could say that Review is a space with multiple dashboards. For example, inside of the goal status, it allows you to look for next actions, waiting for, on hold items, someday items, reference items, reading items, and of course, ideas. You can also do the periodic reviews like weekly, monthly, quarterly, half year, and year from here. You've got templates to assist you in this activity. You can check on all your bills, your habits, review your tasks in accordance with your energy levels. You can deep dive into projects, look at your completed list, review things to archive, or things you've trashed before you're deleting them. Last but not the least, you can look at your quick win items as well. Do represents the day-to-day -day actions. Patching actions helps us get things done faster. Doing actions related to a single project helps us get through the project progress easier. For projects that are managed within Notion, for example, you can provide a backlink to go back to and you can go back and forth between these blocks for project execution time and time again. The call links feature allows you to attend a meeting straight from this area and come back to this for your next scheduled item. And most important of all, you can look at your ideas, your habits or archive records not needed any longer straight from here. So in a sense, this allows us to make good choices.